Hey guys, I figured I should do a beer review while I'm in Scotland, and what's a more appropriate beer than to do a beer by BrewDog? BrewDog is a brewery that's located in Aberdeen, Scotland, and this beer here is very interesting. It's a discontinued beer. It was a special that was available for a season, and it's called How to Disappear Completely. And I believe this name is inspired or it's the same, yes, it's inspired by a song by Radiohead. Now, this beer is very interesting because it says it's a fake fix double IPA. So, it's a double IPA, as it says here, but it's 3.5%. So, maybe you could call it a uh, small double IPA, like how there's a small beer. Uh, small beers are generally beers less than 4%. But uh, on Beer Advocate, at least, it says it's a English dark mild ale. A mild ale is a style, uh, I think, derived in the UK, uh, but it's an imperial of that, so it's like super moderate, you know, like that kind of ironic kind of combination. But now I cheated, actually, I had this beer before, and it's really interesting, but l let, me, let me not give it away right now. Let me just open it and drink it in front of y'all. Now, BrewDog is, oh man, it smells nice. BrewDog has been a controversial brewery because they, they, they uh, basically broke the law and made beer that's more than the limit that's allowed in the UK, which I, I believe is 10%. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me. But they made a beer that's 18%, the Tokyo, and then they upped it 38% with the tactical nuclear penguin, and then they have one that's... 40 or 41 percent is, is ridiculous. <laughs> they're crazy, but they're all about nonconformity and all that. So they're kind of this rebellious punk guys. Um, but anyways, so far I've had uh, I think five of their beers, and every single one has been very good. Not just like okay, that's good. Uh, even their lager, their I had their trashy blonde. It's, it's very good. Uh, it's really impressive. So anyways. I like to think of this as a small double IPA simply because of how it tastes, but maybe how they make it uh, is in contrast to that. And I drank it from the bottle too, so uh, this may be different, who knows. So it has a, it has a nice dark amber color. Uh, kind of the bubbles are in the way of this, in the, this glass here. Yeah, it has some citrus notes in it. Uh, what kind of hops do they use in this again? Uh, Columbus and Centennial. So you get the citrusiness from the Centennial hops. And it really has this double IPA kind of aroma. Uh, and yeah, it's, it, it looks really tasty. Um, yeah, the bubbles are medium small and all that. But why don't we go ahead and dive in here. Yeah, interesting, interesting. I think the Centennial really gives it that, all, all that hops that you get in a double IPA. Uh, at least, maybe because of the name, but at least with my take on it, when I drink it, I get the feel of a double IPA, but you don't get the booziness that you usually do. Right? It's, it's very light. And it does have that, that, United Kingdom, British, Scottish ale kind of taste that you get in a, a typical bitter that you get uh, from the from this area. But it does have that citrusiness. Now, at least this is me, and I know some of you saw in my lager reviews that that if I drink it from the bottle, I tend to taste more of this. Blah blah blah. Uh, some of you don't believe in that. At least I I I, I could taste a difference, but. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. I, it seems like I taste more of the citrusiness from the bottle, but then again, it's the same beer, right? It's very clean, and then the bitterness kicks in. You smell the citrus aroma, but you do get it overall when you drink this beer. Um, this is very good. Sadly, though, this has been discontinued and you can't get it anywhere. So I got three bottles from the store just because they found a 
uh, I don't know, a whole box of it, and they thought they ran out of it. But this that place may be the only place that have it. It's in St. Andrews. It's called Luvian's, awesome beer store, and it says here. It's it's weird because the the print on this beer bottle looks like it's cheaply been printed. So I was like, is, it, is this real? But and it's even written in pen here. Best before uh, June first, two thousand ten. So it needs to be drunk fairly quickly. And I'm guessing this isn't fresh, but I, at least I do still have it. I have one more bottle left to enjoy. But uh, and sadly, this isn't going to be available. But I thought I'd do a review of it. It's very good. Uh, look forward to more brew dog reviews. I have a bunch of my suitcase. I'm going to be reviewing them. Uh, sadly, I'm not going to be reviewing the Trashy Blonde or uh, what else did I miss? Oh, the Punk IPA. <laughs> the Punk IPA is has become a legit standard beer that you'll find all around Scotland. It is such a solid IPA. I mean, at least to my knowledge, it's the best IPA I've ever had in the United Kingdom that could compete with. American IPAs. Full of flavor, really nice, really clean, not too much. It's very, very balanced. So sadly I can't review the Punk IPA because I, I just didn't get it. Hey, I just wanted to say a little bit since I just finished this beer. Um, the first bottle I had was considerably citrusy. Uh, had a lot more character of a double IPA, yet still have the lightness of it being 3.5 ABV. But uh, this bottle had more of that traditional English style ale, namely the English style mild ale. So uh, I don't know. It's interesting. You know, beer always depends on the bottle. But yeah, this one wasn't as much of my favorite. The first bottle was like up to like I don't know, like eight. Yeah, eight out of ten. This one's more on like six, fairly. Um, although it's good, maybe six plus or seven. But yeah. Uh, this bottle was okay, but anyways, yeah, this was the How to Disappear Completely by BrewDog. Uh, I'd like to say that you should go get it, but sadly, it's been discontinued, so sorry, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in another BrewDog beer review. I have a few others to review, so look forward to that. See you guys, and come by.